I want to see more stories. I want to see more diversity on the show. And I think by having more stories on the show is going to connect even more people. I would just love to see like more, more of our stories told in different ways because clearly we're slaying the competition. <laughs> So let's talk about the word tokenism, because a lot of times the word tokenism is um, used hand in hand with the word representation. What do you guys think is the difference or the similarities between tokenism and representation? Tokenism is that they, it's just being brought there just because they feel like it should be put there. Like, oh, we need to check all the boxes off, you know, make sure that this, we have this, we have that, we have this, we have that, we have this, and that, and that. So just, it's basically just, diversification just for just to have diversification and not really like focus on the, the actual representation of it and the representation is really like getting to the meat of the people not just saying well we have this person of color here we have this person of color there but really like delving into who this person is not just as the skin tone but as a person and what all they represent because we all represent more than just our skin tone and to also piggyback off of what Heidi was saying I think um, one thing that really distinguishes the two of them is that um, tokenism really takes like one individual and places a bunch of different archetypes and experiences upon that person in order to claim that the space is being diversified. If you're actually diversifying something, you are bringing in so many different experiences, walks of life, different types of Black people, different eco-economic uh, statuses. Like, that is part of what diversity means. It means creating a more enriched in experience from people who come from multiple different backgrounds versus tokenism, which just takes like one person to try and like fill a void and appear as if they are diverse. Which is so true because I feel like I've done a lot of shows in the past where you would go and there's like, you're the black girl in the show. And you wonder why, like, why are there no other black girls booked in this gig? And it's like, well, girl, we just need the one black girl who's going to represent all the black girls tonight in the show. And like, you happen to be that girl. You know what I mean? And, um, or sometimes we've not been that girl and we've been to shows when you sit in the audience like, girl, it's funny that every single time they do a show, there's one black girl and it's that same girl. And I feel like, just like you said, that's the difference between representation and tokenism. You can't just take one person constantly and use that person as like, this person is going to be our black girl in the show. You know what I mean? To me, it's actually about identity politics. It's about, uh, uh, I feel like really confronting the ideas that you should be looking for things to check off in your life. And it's a really complex thing because I do think a, a lot of people, I think almost all of us could afford to like broaden our spectrums, like reach out to different uh, people from different walks of life, like we've been saying more drastically than we do. But the issue is tokenism is kind of like looking for things to hit. Like, do I have like, do I have like a trans person? Do I have like a person of color? Do I have like a loud, whereas like representation is a harder concept to digest because it's kind of blind, it's abstract. It's something where like identity shouldn't matter as much because identity isn't holding you back. And unfortunately, like our history as a country has been the exact opposite where who you are, what your what your skin is, like what gender or sex you are, uh, like what your age is, everything has a specific identity attached to it. And I believe that if we could like help promote like the embracing of other people's identities without needing to focus on them, then it would be it would be amazing. But so far, I feel like we're just at step one, which is a good step, but like step one, which is acknowledging that not everybody has the same opportunities and rights to life. 